Hello, this is Omanike Mama Max. I'm in Ocala at Silver Springs. I might as well make the most of my time and, um, you know, check out the area. So, um, this is a park and I came here to get on the glass boats. So, let's take a walk. Now, I came out here probably like 40 years ago. Hey, how are you? I came out here about 40 years ago when I was a kid growing up in New York. You know how your parents want to take you to Florida. And back then, they had a zoo. They no longer have a zoo here. That is my understanding. So, I'm in Ocala, Florida. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful trees. So let's walk. <sighs> Check out this. I hope everybody is doing fine. By the time this will post, I more than likely will be out of Ocala and to the next destination. Sometimes it's good that I uh, post when I'm not in that vicinity, just for safety reasons. Now, I don't remember coming here 30, 40 years ago. Okay, that's a long time ago for me. So, this is a state park. Usually state parks have a nominal fee. So, um, I just want to say to folks, this is a place where you can take the entire family for a nominal fee. It's a wholesome activity. Because, as you all know, Mama Max is about being safe, sane, and healthy. So let me show y'all this. How you doing? So, and it says, please take nothing but pictures. Leave nothing but footprints. Uh, let me see if I can turn this around. Hey, y'all. So like I said, today we're going to be walking around. I'm going to show you parts of beautiful... Florida. And turn this back around. Now there are park admission fees. It's two dollars per person. So they have restrooms that way. And So I'm going to put you guys on pause while I go ahead and pay for this. Okay, I'm still in line waiting to pay. Um, because I'm going to go to the Glass Bottom Boat Tour, which at this time is $15. And other than that, if you want to walk in, it's two dollars. So I'm I'm still waiting. I don't know what's the hold up. Uh, are they open? There's a line behind me. Let's hurry up and wait, shit. Okay, I don't think Oh, they're open? Oh, thank you. Hello. Hi. 
Now I didn't say y'all were open. Anyway, I want to go to the, the, the glass boat mm -hmm. and walk around. Just one person? Me, yes. Okay. How much is it? Uh, it'll be $15.91. Okay, do you have veteran discount? Um, no, we have senior discount, 55 and up. Okay, no, not that yet. What's your name? Maxine Edwards. AKA Omanike. And then by the second one, I was like, you might need to go to the restroom. No. Your phone number? Uh, what bitches want to know my name. You want to know my number. I was like, do you need all that? And that's when she just charging you know whatever because that's not fucking necessary and y'all know my name is maxine right if you don't know now you know so let's turn this around look as i get older i don't have time for bullshittedness y'all I'm, I'm dead serious hold up so this way is the boardwalk hiking trail Let's walk around. Yeah, I, I'm a. I don't know, y'all. When you get older, past fifty, mm-mm, mm-mm, nope. This is beautiful. I don't know if y'all can catch all of this. This is really nice. Really nice. Let's walk. Mmm. Nice. Look at this. Let me show you. This is beautiful. So. I don't know if y'all can see the boat where I'll be loading myself on and I'll be going out there isn't it beautiful this is what life is about y'all so I'm gonna put this on pause all right, you wouldn't believe this shit. I lost my ticket. Don't ask me what the fuck happened. I don't know. But anyway, um, 320. So let's walk down and we're going to get on this boat. I have no idea what time it is now. But, uh, yeah. So I showed y'all the water. And, um. I'm going to wait to get on this boat. Some weird stuff, anyway. Very pretty here, and it's a beautiful day. It's probably about 83 degrees, if anybody's interested. I'm going to show you all. These trees are very common in Tallahassee, even in Tampa. So yeah, y'all know. But yeah, um, the boat ride is about, I don't know, 13 was it? I don't remember. But like I said, this is something that's wholesome. You could bring your family here. <sighs>
I have my jeans on today. Plants. So we'll walk and tour um, the boat and all that good stuff afterwards. So check this out. And to my friend Mark, I'm holding the camera the right way. Oh, no. All right, so like I said, the next one is at 320. So you can come here, you can rent some kayaks or you could get your own kayak, your own raft or whatever, and you know, chill out. So right now, um, today is Friday, May 13th. So I guess a lot of children are still in school and that's the reason why I came here now. I really don't want to deal with people's children. I don't. I really don't. So I just want to come out here and, you know, enjoy. Without the children. So Ocala has, I think, a couple of places where you can, you know, go to their parks and, you know, take part in the uh, water activities. Hey guys, just to let you know, they have two different uh, glass bottom tours. There's one that's an hour, and there's another one that's 30 minutes. So I'm going on the 30 minute one. Now the one that's an hour, that's only open on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. So I'm waiting. Um, these dudes, these people are boarding for the hour tour. Okay, let me show y'all something. That says boat tour, 30 minute line, and the pass through, and the 90 minute line. So I think I did something like this as a child. It was so long ago. Can't remember.
to hear that they have a um, thing up here on the wall about protecting Florida Springs. So, um, Ocala have, I guess, a couple of springs here. Uh, I think they have one called Rainbow Spring Park, something like that. They said we'll be boarding soon. Yeah, y'all. So, um, those who don't know, yeah, my given name is Maxine, but my spiritual name is Omanike. And Obanike is a Yoruba name. It means child to be loved. So I love that name. And a Yoruba man gave it to me because I knew how to pronounce his name. And I explained to him that I, I practice Ifa. You know, I'm an Orisha uh, practitioner. So we learn how to pronounce African names. That's very important as far as the prayers. Uh, so, yeah. So, I use my um, given name, of course, you know, and uh, Omanike is for social media. And, you know, uh, some religious gatherings or whatever. It doesn't matter what you call me, I'm going to answer to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Now, um, I do want to say, on the drive here, I've noticed there is a museum called Appleton Museum. So, I might check that out tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be able to uh, to film inside because a lot of times in museums they don't want to to videotape but if I can I'll do that so at least I want to go to a museum before I leave yeah so we're still waiting to board I'm looking forward to getting on this boat because it looks like the water is very, very clear. Uh, now that we're talking about water, even though we have springs here and all that good stuff, um, my understanding is that there are droughts going on in parts of the world and it does affect the states as well so you know get your filters get your water do what you need to do oh seems like it'll be fun getting on those uh kayaking See, I'm gonna scan real quick. It's not a lot of, it's not a lot of people here. It's not a lot of people. And guess what? I like it like this. Actually, I love it like this. And I'm sure on the weekends, it's quite busy and it's quite crowded. I don't always like crowds.
but it's absolutely beautiful here. I don't know if this video will do it justice. Do you mind if I? I can't have people that are on the side. No, 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 no. I mean, right, go here because oh, you're going to be. Okay, because you're going to be in the thing. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what I was talking Thank about. You. Yeah. Appreciate yeah, I don't do that because I upload. Thank you. That's correct. Yeah, one thing I, I always get people's permission a lot of times. Uh, and I don't film people's children because if I had, I would damn well want anyone uh, filming mine, you know. Uh, I try to be respectful and um, conscious of, of other people. Lots of boards soon. Patience, it's a virtue. All right, finally getting on. So, be careful. This right here is the glass part. Take a look. Okay. So this is the glass part, guys. So the water is very clear. Welcome aboard, guys. Take your time. Take your time. We're in no rush at all. No rush at all. Believe me, we'll be moving like a herd of turtles. Let me tell you. Yes. Up there, we'll be called life, death, life, death. Now the guys, the children are in the rear, the adults are on either side. Now with the building, it's been just about a hundred years, we never had to use those things, and by God, we are not going to start today. Now for any reason you guys do want to break my mind, and at home, they are tradition, I kick out and will not stop it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this. Yeah, we're going to Okay. Now, if it just so happens we get hit by a road torpedo and we have to abandon the ship, have no fear. Do so we're looking at the, the, the glass, glass bottom. bottom. So the water's very clear. I mean, they only told you all my life to be service. That's not too bad. Oopsie. Sorry about the finger, y'all. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I do have a radio in my hand. It is a constant communication with the folks in the boat out the house. Now, if for any reason you guys feel sick, ill, or impaired, and cannot finish your trip, you guys let me know I have an EMT back at the doctor within 15 minutes. Now, if I feel sick, ill, or impaired, and cannot finish the trip, oh boy. Oh boy. Just press the button on the receiver right here. It gives them the universal sign of distress. We all remember what that is, right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? 
Oh. And let's another Captain Bill can not finish the trick. With that being said, let's get on with the ride. Ladies and gentlemen, this glass that you're looking through is real glass. This glass is only an eight and a half inch thick, but it's not magnified in any way. What you see is what you get. Now guys, this water is 98.9% .9 pure spring water. Although I do not suggest sticking the cup down there and trying. But then again, for those of you who actually drank Ness's bottled spring water, unfortunately, you already have. Yeah. Yeah. Now guys, this water temperature stays at constant 72 degrees. And that's because of the springs. Now speaking of springs, the first spring that we're going to go see is called the Spring of Stars. And they gave it that name for the many different actors and actresses doing movies here. Like Jane Russell, Jerry Lewis, Burt Reynolds, and of course, Johnny Wiseman from the sixth original Tarzan. Now guys, we don't have many actors or actresses doing movies here anymore. So our wildlife has become our star. So as we hang over this first spring, ladies and gentlemen, which is just about 28 feet deep. I will try my best Aquaman impersonation and try and get some of those stars to come up and say hi to you. Guys, when this gray rock meets this ledge down here, that is your actual spring. That spring down there is 28 feet deep. Yes, looks can be very, very deceiving around here, let me tell you. Now, if for any reason you guys do not get to see the prints or anything that I'm trying to show you at the bottom of the glass, please, please remember, it's your fault. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. I can see it at 306 degrees, so everyone gets to see what I'm talking about. I can see a little bit. Now, these beautiful little fish that's about to come into view at the bottom of the glass, guys, these are called bluegill. We get like to call them lucky blue for one region and one region only. It is illegal to fish here. Which means they will never see the bottom of a frying pan. Which is so horrible because that is some really good eats down there. Really good. Now this next one coming up guys is called the Creature Spring. And they call it the Creature Spring. Because they make three different movies at this one location. Who would like to guess what one of those movies are? And it's a creature from the Black Lagoon. The return of the creature from the Black Lagoon. And guess what ladies and gentlemen? Back to the Black Lagoon. Ladies and gentlemen, coming into view at the bottom of the glass, I give you that 38 foot creature spring. This spring right here is when they did all the underwater filming and single scene for the creature of the black lagoon. They started that movie with a gentleman by the name of Rico Brown. This cave down here is the actual creature's home. Now this next spring that we're going to go see, guys, is called the Abyss. Now they call it the Abyss because years ago they took garbage down there to find out exactly how deep this spring is. Well, let me tell you guys, this spring got so tight and so narrow that the divers have to take the air tanks off their back, push them down in front of them. Just so they can get down a little bit deeper. Now, although, ladies and gentlemen, on record, wow, this spring that. is only 82 feet deep. Yup, that's what I said, from 82 feet. The dog is at just about 250 yards of weighted line with them. Now, the theory was that they would drop this line, that line will hit the bottom, and that'll give them some idea how deep this spring really is. Well, that was a theory. Because the reality of it was, they dropped that 250 yards of weighted line, and that line never hit the bottom. So guys, they have no idea how deep this spring truly is. Remember, you'll see the reflection of people because this is glass. Mm. 
Now that white stuff that you see down there, guys, that is actually limestone and snail shells that has been down there for thousands of years. But most people take it for granted. Take it for granted. Now that is what actually forms our natural springs. These springs are all natural. They are not man-made at all. Now this island that is in front of us is called Bird Island. And they call it Bird Island for the many different species of birds you could possibly find on that island. The black birds with the orange hook beaks, those are called cumorants. And then the black birds with the spit beaks, those are called anhingas, or snake birds. Only because when you see them swimming around in the water, you don't know whether they're a bird, a snake, an alligator, or what. Now most of the time when you see these birds, you'll see them with their wings outstretched. Only because they lack the natural oils that other birds have to dry themselves. So they literally have to hang their wings out there to dry so that way they don't become waterlogged. Either that or they're just trying to show you the size of the fish that they caught earlier. Now guys, it is their nesting season. So if you guys look up in the trees up there, you'll see that they built a couple of penthouses up there. And if you guys look up in those penthouses, you'll see some of their babies hanging around up there also. We're running into a set of springs here. And here is why it is the springs. Are the springs. Now guys, this next spring that we're going to go see is one of my favorite springs. This next spring coming up, guys, is a first magnitude spring. This spring is responsible. This spring is responsible for pushing out 250 million gallons of water every 24 hours on its own. Ladies and gentlemen, coming into view at the bottom of the glass, I give you the blue grotto. Oh, wow. I see the bubbles. Now guys, we have just about 32 different species of fish here, but not limited to seven different types of bass, three different types of frog. So to one of the people that have called it the anti-venom for snake bite. So if you're someone you know who's actually ever bitten by a snake, and that nice little ooey gooey substance that they put in their needle to make you feel better, nine times out of ten guys, Ross Allen had something to do with it. Now guys, I am not just mentioning that island back there because of Ross Island. I am also mentioning that island because for those of you on my boat who actually want to go on a monkey hunt. Thank you. you. We are from uh, Trump. Oh, wow. 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 O